again to this episode. Uh, in our last episode of science, we, 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 we promised to introduce the topic of light and we want to see uh, what is uh, in light. So we shall begin by defining the term light. So light is a form of energy which enables us to see. Yes, remember very well we have body organs that enable us, enable us to see and there are only two. We have two eyes. The eyes enable us to see. So we shall go deep and see how these eyes enable us to see. Okay? So how are we able to see objects around us? Now objects around us normally reflect light from them. Okay? So when they reflect light, it comes to our eyes. So we can only see them, we are able to see objects around us because light from them is reflected to our eyes. In other words, to reflect is to send back. Something comes and bounces back. That is to reflect. Okay? So when light is reflected from an object, it sends that light to our eyes and we are able to see it clearly. We shall go deep and find out why a red shirt appears to be red, why a blue shirt appears to be blue, why a red dress appears to be that color. It's because that color is reflected to our eyes, okay? So basically, when it comes to that, that's how we have to tell the examiner that we are able to see objects around us because light from them is reflected to our eyes, okay? So we want also to find out why, why is light referred to as a form of energy. Remember in mechanics last time we talked about uh, energy and we said that energy is the ability to do work. Energy is the ability to do work. So anything that helps you to do work qualifies to be an energy. So basically, why is light referred to as a form of energy? It, refer, it is referred to as a form of energy because it enables us to do work. Which work? To see. Okay? Alright. Then we shall look at what are the importances of light. Do we need light anyway? Because light is there. What is its use? So uh, let's go deep and see why we need light. Light does a lot of things for us. First of all, when we use our eyes, we can see, we are able to see objects around us. We can see from far ends, okay? Sometimes we use machines, machines which can magnify, okay? These viruses, they are looking for the COVID-19. You can only see them using light. And that machine is called a microscope. A microscope helps you to magnify. To magnify is try to make something bigger, look bigger such that you can see it clearly. Now, viruses, bacteria, all germs, okay? Protozoans can only be seen using a microscope, and that is by the help of light. So, enables us to see, okay? Enables us to see. So, those that cause diseases to us can be seen using light, and that is by the help of machines, all right? Now, could you ever imagine that uh, what the situation will be like if we don't have the sun? The sun is the origin of all energies because without it, we cannot, we cannot, we cannot survive. Let's look at how this sun, light from the sun helps us. Number one, you all know that we get food from plants, even animals. Now, when you go back to the food chain, you find that we have producers Producers are those organisms which have the capacity of making their own food. They have the capacity of making their own food, building their own food. And we know those are only plants. They are the producers. They have the capacity of making their own food. Okay? Now, how is that possible? How is that made possible? It is only possible because light exists. So, they trap light from the sun using chlorophyll that is in their leaves, and use it to form the food that you eat, which is called starch, okay? So way back in P6, you looked at uh, photosynthesis, the process, what is required, some of the requirements of photosynthesis, you saw that. So enables plants, 
light enables plants to make to make their own their own food and you know the process is photosynthesis now without light definitely plants cannot make food now could you imagine plants are not making food the animals you eat remember feed on plants we also feed on plants but let's say plants are not there and we are supposed to feed on animals how shall we feed on animals when animals don't have food so it's like a chain okay it's a food chain plants have to first of all make their food then we consume the plants we consume the food made by plants or we consume the animals which have been feeding on on plants okay so besides making food, um, our skins are able to make vitamin D. So our skin makes vitamin D by the help of the sun, okay? It converts that light energy and uses it to make vitamin D. So you normally take pictures, photographs, um, using cameras. Right now a camera, I'm in front of a camera and it is using light. So light, is used for photography. Light is used for photography. Photography. Okay? Photography that is taking pictures and also uh, making videos. You use those machines, you know, the cameras, the video cameras. Okay? Those ones can help us to form. Uh, some photographs. So we use artificial sources of light, uh, especially at the streets. You normally see they are the ones that control traffic. Okay? So when red comes on, you know that is stop. Okay? Yellow or orange, get ready. Okay? And green, let's go. So we use those traffic lights and they are, they are that they are, they, are, they are basically using light to function. All right, let's look at the, the sources, sources of light, sources of light. Where does light come from? Those are the things we want to look at right now. Sources of light, sources of light. Now, we have one that is natural sources. Some are natural. Natural sources of light. Then we have two artificial sources of light. Artificial sources. Now, what are those natural sources of light? You look at these words natural and artificial, of course, you, what comes to your mind is that natural simply means God made. Okay? No human intervention there. Then artificial simply man-made. Man does this. So let's look at the natural sources of light. What are they? Okay, natural sources of light. These are sources of light. Natural sources of light. Natural sources of light. We want to find out what they are and we shall also give examples okay so these are sources of light provided by nature these are sources of light provided provided by nature whenever that word comes to you to you just know it is by God. No human intervention there. Okay? And what are some of the examples? Examples of natural sources. Natural sources of light. Now, here you have to be careful. Though these are easy things, but you, you can misfire easily. So we have the sun, the star, erupting volcanoes, 
This sun here is very important. We have stars erupting, erupting volcanoes. Then we have glow worms. I think most of you have ever watched glow worms, especially in the dark at night. Okay? They normally go on producing light. They keep on, uh, you normally call them, call it twinkle, twinkling. They go on producing that light in the dark. Okay? So when you are a child, you normally try to follow them and find out what they are really. Okay? So we have those glow arms, we have fireflies. Okay? Fireflies and ETC. And ETC. Those are some of the examples of natural sources of light. Natural sources of light. So some of these lights are very hot. They produce light when they are hot. And some are not hot. For example, these are animals. OK? You don't expect them to be hot. The sun, as well, is not hot. OK? We have others like comets. You normally see them. You call them shooting stars, I think. Uh, some, that's the common name that's normally used. OK? Now, when you look at the sun, you look at erupting volcanoes. Those ones produce light when they are hot. They produce light when they are hot. Some are not hot, like fireflies, and then glow worms. Now, those which produce light when they are hot are called incandescent objects. We shall see that as we go on, OK? So let's look at artificial sources of light. Artificial, artificial sources of light. This is where a man comes in. This is where a man comes to play. Which are some of the sources that man makes? At least you have seen at your home, you have this. You have light, you have light bulbs. You use candles, some of you use candles. So those are some of the artificial sources of light. So we can list some of them because um, we need to write the examples here. For example, we have the lamps. Sometimes this one is called a lantern lamp, OK? The lamps. We have the light bulb. The light bulb. Then fire. Fire is made by man. You all know that very well. You can talk of hot charcoal, OK? Hot charcoal. Hot charcoal. You ask me, hey, we don't use charcoal to see. But when charcoal burns, you can see that there is some light being, being produced, OK? So uh, those are some of the examples of artificial sources of light. All right, now, objects, uh, examples of artificial sources of light, you all know that. You can think about others that man can make. Yeah? They are those which are called lighters. Uh, when you are uh, you're lighting maybe a cigarette, you've seen those people who, you, uh, who, who smoke cigarettes. They have a lighter. That one can produce light, OK? Then the candle, how can we forget the candle, the mighty candle? This one has caused a lot of problems, especially in our home states, because they lead to or they cause fires in our homes. So basically, those are some of the examples of artificial sources of light. So artificial sources, as we said, they are made by people or made by man, man-made, in other words. Now, let's go ahead and look at these terms, luminous, luminous objects, luminous objects and also non-luminous objects, non-luminous objects. So we need to find out what luminous objects are and what non-luminous objects are. So if we start with luminous, luminous objects, 
Let's see what they are. What do they really mean when they talk of luminous objects? Okay? So luminous objects are objects that produce their own light. These are objects which produce their own objects which produce produce their own their own light. They produce their own light. So when you go back to the sources of light, you've seen some which produce their own light, okay? But basically, or most importantly, the sun comes into play. The sun, the stars, the volcanoes, lamps, torches, okay? Iggy, we have the sun, we have the stars, erupting volcanoes, erupting volcanoes, Okay, we have, that can be a comma, we have torches. Now here you find that they have artificial and also natural. We have torches, we have the lamps. We have the lamps, we have light bulbs, light bulbs, and ETC. Those are some of the sources, I mean the luminous, Luminous sources of light, luminous objects, they are also called direct sources of light. Okay? Now, what of the non luminous? Non luminous objects? Non luminous. It's the opposite of luminous. Non luminous objects. All right. So, these are objects which do not have the capacity of producing their own light. These simply are objects which do not which do not produce produce their own light. Their own light. They never produce their own light. What some of them do, they get light from other objects and then reflect that light. Now, by that, they appear to be sources of light, but in actual sense, they are not sources of light because they are producing light from other objects. They are just reflecting it. Comes from some object, then it reflects it. Look at a mirror, and you press a mirror you put it under the sun, you see that it will produce some light somewhere. Now, that light that has been produced somewhere has been reflected from the mirror, then to the wall maybe, or to your face, or to your friend, or anything else, okay? Right now, we shall not call that a luminous object. It is a non-luminous object. Let's look at the moon, okay? Examples. Examples. We have plane mirrors. This plain mirror, they don't produce their own light. They only reflect light from other sources, especially media sources of light, okay? Look at planet Earth or other planets, okay? Look at the moon. The moon is one of the celestial objects found in space there. It normally gives light at night. So have you ever wondered, is the moon burning like the sun burns? Where does it get its own light? In other words, it reflects light from the sun. So the sun produces light, then for it, it reflects light, it acts like a mirror, okay? It sends light to earth. Then we are able to see that. Definitely, that one does not qualify to be a luminous object, it is a non-luminous object, okay? It's a non-luminous object. Now, to note, we shall note some things here, like the speed of light, because we shall use it to, to answer some question. The speed of light, sorry. The speed of light. Light travels at a certain speed, 
light travels at a certain speed, and this is uh, 30,000, that is three, zero, then zero, zero. Kilometers per hour, meters per second in this case. Kilometers per hour is normally used in mathematics, but here we normally talk of standard units, the SI units. The SI unit for distance is meters. The SI unit for, 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 for time is seconds. Now, you cannot measure time in hours. We normally talk of, when it comes to physics, we normally look at light as traveling uh, per second, uh, meters per second, and there's the standard unit for light, uh, for, for, for distance, is meters, and the standard unit for time is seconds, okay? Now, we shall also look at some of the, 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 the topical questions that can come whenever uh, you face challenges in your exams, okay? Let's look at some of those questions. One, they'll ask you the sources of light, so don't be tempted to say, a mirror, or planets, or the moon, because these are non-luminous objects. They don't produce their own light, okay? So they are non-luminous. So in that case, you always talk about the luminous objects. That is the sun, the stars, erupting volcanoes, talk of the torches, because they are sources of light, okay? So that is uh, how you can answer that. Then how is light useful to a human being? So apart from seeing, we said that we can use it for photography. For example, right now I'm in front of a camera, it is using light. We can also use some objects to see those tiny particles, like I explained earlier on. That is for um, viruses, uh, the bacteria, fungus, all those ones can be seen under a microscope, and definitely that is by the help of the sun, I mean the, the help of light. Okay, so there are other uses, like we said earlier on, uh, as we wind up. Okay, so examples of non luminous objects is a question they can always ask you. They can also ask you to name the, the luminous objects. And lastly, this is the question that is normally asked why, why is the moon? Why is the moon referred, referred to as a non-luminous object? A non-luminous object. So it is referred to as a non-luminous object because it does not produce its own light but reflects light from the sun, okay? That is one way uh, how you can answer such a question. Yes, I would like to end our lesson here and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can receive most of the videos that we upload every time you come and visit us. Thank you for watching. I wish you all the best. Please stay safe.